Hi, my name's Chad, and today I would like to share with you about a spiritual discipline called Lexio Divina. Lexio Divina is a Latin phrase that simply means divine reading. It's an ancient practice of listening deeply to the voice of God speaking through the sacred text of the Bible. Eugene Peterson writes, Lexio is reading that enters our soul as food, it enters our stomachs, it spreads through our blood and becomes holiness and love and wisdom. The author of Hebrews reminds us that God's word is living and active. And so Lexio is a great tool for us to practice listening and pondering and enjoying the presence of God as we listen to his living and active word. A friend of mine likes to think of it as reading slow and listening between the lines for the heart of God. It takes us out of control as we read scripture and turns us into listeners waiting to hear the still small voice of God guide and direct our time in his word. There are usually four readings of a particular text or four moves to Alexio Divina. However, sometimes we include a fifth move or reading that comes from a deep desire within us to take what we have received from God and ask Him to show us what it means to live that out in our world. So there's no better way to learn Lexio than to give it a try. So I thought we'd do that right now. Um, I'm going to use the passage in Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 through 4 as my text today, but you might have a text that you're working through that you could use as well. But if you're going to use the Colossians text, let me read it one time just so that we're familiar with it and we understand its content and flow before we actually do a time in Lexio. So here's Colossians 3 verses 1 through 4. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. So as we begin our journey through the movements of Lexio today, let's take a moment first to become fully present. Sit comfortably and alert. Try to be relaxed and in a posture that you can sustain for our time together. For me, that means with my feet on the floor and relatively straight up and down. If you can, try to put away your thoughts for the day and assume a listening, open posture as we approach God's Word. So Lexio Divina. First reading. Listen. Listen for the word that is addressed to you. As we read a passage the first time, listen for a word or phrase that catches your attention or attracts you. Don't analyze the passage for a particular key word like we might do in a good Bible study but rather let the words of the text become acquainted with your heart. Pay attention to any words or phrases that draw you in, something that unnerves you or stirs something within you, some place where you're attracted or maybe even a part of the text that repels you. Whatever words shimmer or seem ripe with significance to you, just hang on those words or phrases. Let them catch your attention and draw you in. So, pause the video, read the text the first time, listening for a word or phrase that God is highlighting to you right now. Reading 2. Meditate. Ask, how is my life touched by this word? Read the passage a second time. This time, I want to encourage you to discover or listen for how your life is touched by this particular passage. Is there an image or feeling that stays with you that is attached to the word or phrase that just caught your attention in the reading before? What is it in your life right now that needs to hear this word? It could be some type of realization or a feeling, some sensory perception, or even a simple thought. 
I don't usually have this happen, but just last week I was meditating on a text of scripture and I felt a super warm sensation on my face and I experienced a powerful healing touch of God. So I want to encourage you to let your imagination be engaged as well as your heart and your mind. Whatever comes, welcome it, welcome it into your heart. So take a couple minutes to be silent first before the Lord and consider all of his possibilities. Be receptive and open to the Holy Spirit's stirrings. So press pause on the video, read through the text a second time, and focus on how your life is touched by what God is highlighting. Third reading, pray. Ask, is there an invitation for me here? Read the passage a third time. Listen to discover any possible invitations that might be relevant to you today, or maybe in the next few days, things that are coming up, or in even the year that's before us. Ask, how is this, a, how is this time a gift to you today? Take several minutes of silence, and then after you've done that, respond with your whole self. This is a time when we honestly express our deepest thoughts and feelings, our desires, in an intimate conversation with God. In fact, I don't want you to leave this place, this third reading in Lexio, until you've felt like you've heard all there is for you, and you've prayed yourself empty sharing that with God. So press pause on the video, read the text a third time, listening for an invitation, and respond with your whole self. Fourth reading, rest. As you read the passage the fourth time, gently release all your thoughts and feelings back to God. Rest in His wonderful presence. Rest with these stirrings completely safe and secure in Him. Be grateful for what has been given to you during your time with God. When you're ready at the end of the fourth reading, mark the end of your time in Lexio with some closing gesture like the raising of your hands in praise and thanksgiving or maybe a simple prayer that's meaningful to you. So press pause on the video, read the text a fourth time, and rest in God. As I mentioned before, sometimes we finish our time in Lexio with an appropriate fifth reading, asking for the resolve to live out the word that we've received from him today. Our time in God's presence is truly a gift, and our resolve is for transformation so that we might conclude our time by asking, how do I live this out? What is it about this gift that needed to be given to me today? in this particular moment. So you might conclude after a fifth reading by writing something down in a journal or go for a walk to further consider what your next steps might be. Above all, I want you to remember this as you enter into a time of Lexio. God has more to say to you than anyone else. Lexio is a wonderful way for us to listen to what he has to say and I hope that it's a blessing to you.